must get something and be a blessing to other people. Hallelujah. People of God, we should not hide what God is doing in our lives. Am I talking to somebody? We should not hide what God is doing in our life. Because when Philip met Jesus, hallelujah. One thing I look about them, do you know that after until when Jesus was about to depart, before they really understand who was Jesus, these are people who were together with Jesus. They call him Rabbi. It means teacher. So they see Jesus like also teacher, like John. So I believe John's message was over. They needed a new message. So they were also seeing Jesus as a teacher, not as a provider. They were also seeing Jesus as a teacher, not as a healer, not as a deliverer. That's why the moment they were walking with Jesus, they begin to wonder every day when things were happening in his life. Am I talking to somebody? When they were walking with Jesus, begin to see things begin to happen. So all the time they were, they were wondering. To an extent, Jesus asked them, what did people, Jesus wanted to know their mind. What did people talk, what are people talking about me? Who did they, who are they saying that I am? It was not about the people. It was about them. They begin to open up. Some of them say you are Elijah. Some of them they say you are a prophet. So the same question they asked John, is the same question they wanted to know from Jesus. But the one thing that made them become confused, they said this man is not teaching like the scribe. You know, Jesus, they were seeing Jesus as a teacher. They said he does not teach like the scribe. His own is different with power. So that was the thing that made them confused. John was always baptizing, but nothing was happening. No man manifest. Hallelujah. But they see a man that came, blind can see. Dead can hear, live can walk, growth can come out, sickness, dead people can come back to life. There was a time in Mark chapter 5, there was a man called the centurion who came to Jesus and said, My son, my daughter is sick. And Jesus was about going to the man's house to heal the daughter. And the news came back, the daughter is dead. Hallelujah. And Jesus looked at the man in continent. The man felt so bad. Jesus said, no, don't worry. Your child is not dead. There is a level, hallelujah, when you have an encounter with this Jesus, nothing dies in your life. You see, your child is not dead. And on their way going, there was another person who had been doubting this Jesus for so long, who just knew him as a good teacher, but never thought that this man can heal. But when they are seeing so many miracles and testimony over his life, come and see. Because he said he has heads. This Jesus, the woman of the issue of blood for 12 years, the Bible says he made up his mind. If only I can touch this man's garment, I shall be made whole. I believe somebody has made up his mind tonight. Oh, yes. Somebody has made up his mind this morning. Oh, yes. He made up his mind. The Bible says when he was when Jesus was passing, he went and touched his garment. And the Bible says the blood immediately dried up. And these are things that he has suffered for many years for satisfaction, looking for solution. This is how many of us are looking for solution for wrong place, looking for satisfaction for long, wrong place, looking for solution for wrong place. We don't know that the solution is in Jesus. Jesus spoke some time to the disciples. So you read the scripture and quote the scripture, but you don't know that this scripture is speaking but about me. Hallelujah. So many of us have been in that place. We go to church. We just read the Bible. They give us Bible story. We just book Bible. Uh, uh, Solomon uh, was the richest man. And Joseph went to prison and become a prime minister. That's finished. You say, wow. And your own life, you are still in prison. Nothing is changing. So we know Bible in a story way. We don't know that these things are spirit. The Bible says in First Peter, so none of this word was spoken by the prophet, but by through the spirit. So many of us today, we have not experienced this God power. Hallelujah. So Jesus, the Bible says, the woman touched his garment and was made whole. And the moment Jesus went to that house, there were mourners who were just mourning and crying. And Jesus had to put them aside. Say, so what, what stop, stop deceiving people? I pray for you today. I don't know what has died in your life. I don't know if it's your business or your relationship, whatever. This morning is coming back to life. Amen. It is coming back to life. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. So we can see that coming to Jesus is a great thing that every man can desire to do. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a great thing. Every man that has an encounter with Jesus, blind Bartimaeus have an encounter with Jesus, his story change. Why that Jesus is that time we cannot see it now today? I'm just talking. Because this is a question many people are asking today. Gideon asked the same thing. In Judges chapter 6. I think there's 20. He said, what is the God that our fathers used to tell us? These are the questions people are asking. Where is that God? You keep on hearing testimony of people. And there is no testimony for you. People will see your testimony. Amen. Some of you cannot even bring some people. You cannot even tell your spouse. They come, let's go to that church. Because you have carried your spouse for many church, and nothing has changed in your life. See, even when you just want to even mention that there is a church I just discovered, <laughs> I beg, I beg you. You are just, you cannot say it. Praise the Lord. That shame, that mockery shall be over today. Amen. You will leave this church today and go back home and tell your spouse, come and see. Because something is about to happen to your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, Philip did not want to explain anything. For me being with this man for a short while, I've seen enough. I don't, my mouth cannot even say it. You just need to come and get your own experience. Hallelujah. You just need to get your own experience. There are people outside there. We have friends. None of us here is in this church who does not have friends. But which effort have we put in to bring our friend to this Jesus? Many of you will say, man of God, because I'm not getting a testimony. But the truth is that Philip was fulfilled in his soul. Am I talking to somebody? There was something he received which we call peace. That peace alone you have received is enough for you to call somebody. Amen. Receive some peace to people of God. What about you? There are five things I want you to ask yourself this morning. You have received the peace of the Lord. What have you done? The first thing you must ask yourself the question this morning Why am I following Jesus? Mighty soul. So that you can answer that question when you go. Why am I following Jesus? Remember I said, follow me. Come. I believe when you get that answer, even your, 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 your mindset will change. Even your way of thinking will change. Why are you following Jesus? Is it because you want the earthly blessing or is it because you want to have a better life? Some people will fool you that there is no life after death. Sorry. When someone, my wife, and I was telling me, people will fool you that this life is just about here manifesting. Yet, no, Jesus says, for who hides in my cup, but there is a place we have to go to get. I will go to my father's house and prepare a place for you. Say, if it was not so, I will not tell you. Is that not so? Yes. It means there is a place we need to go. So we are walking as salvation with fear and trouble. We enjoy here on earth and make heaven. Yes, sir. Yes. Don't be a foolish yes, man to feel like life ends here. So you can live a nonsense life. You will go to hell. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. So everything you do in this life has a good motive. I'm following this man because I want to end well. I'm following because I want to stay with him. He said, hey. You see when the, the thief was together with him, he said, remember me when you were in father's house, when you were father's house. He just answered, I said, you will be with me in paradise. So there is a paradise. Yes. Am I saying the truth? No. The Bible never mentioned that when Jesus was resurrected, he was resurrected with a thief. Did he say that? No. The thief died. Jesus died. They buried Jesus. Jesus was resurrected. The yes. thief Amen. remained there. Amen. He's waiting to the Amen. time Jesus will take him to paradise. Amen. But his own, his own, his own, there was already a signature. Amen. You are coming to paradise. Let nobody deceive you. Walk your salvation with fear.
Hallelujah. Number two day, you will ask yourself the question, what am I seeking? The first, what am, what am I following? Number two, what am I seeking? Hallelujah. What am I seeking? What am I seeking? Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and any other thing shall be added to what is seeking the kingdom of God is another message for another day. There are so many things you do to seek the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. There are so many things you do to seek the kingdom of God. In the Bible says in the, in the book of Haggai chapter 1 verse 5 to 9. These are people, listen to, I want to just show you some things that you must know. Haggai chapter 1 verse 5 to 9. The Bible shows you some areas that many people feel that they are seeking God. 5 to to seven, maybe five to seven of them. And that chapter one. So God was speaking. Haggai, Haggai, one, five. Hallelujah. So, what are you seeking? He said, now therefore, thou says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have so much and bring in Little. Can you see? So, this one, are you seeking God? You have so much, and you bring so what? Little. You eat, but you have not enough. Why? Because you bring little to me. That's why you eat, and you are not you are not satisfied. You drink, but you are not filled with the drink. You clothe, you clothe you, but there is not warm. You put on clothes, and you still feel cold. Hallelujah. And he that ended wages, ended wages to put it into a bag with holes. You want to get money, gather, gather. But your bag has holes. So you see, realize that and the money comes. They disappear. Thou says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house. Have you seen? Go up. You see, sometimes when we begin to talk to people, you see some people feel like hey, we need, nobody needs their money. This is God speaking to you. And bring wood and build the house. And I will take, I will take pursuit in it. I will take pleasure in it. And I will be glorified, says the Lord. I will be glorified. You looked for, for much and lo, it came to little. And when you brought it home, I did blow up upon it. Why? Says the Lord of hosts, because of my house that is wet. And you have run every man into his own. God said, you gather, gather, you gather. And with me, I'm the one blowing it away. Scatter it away. Because my house is lacking. It's left empty. My house is lacking. My house there is not. You see, it is an error for us to be standing here to begin to talk to people that, hey, let us see how we can pay the house of God. This, this. You know that this is the house of God. This is your father's house. It should be a burden in your heart. Hallelujah. It should be a body as a believer in this house. You just not just assume that this one is a federal government that just gives us to be living this place for free. Don't just assume it. Praise the Lord. Am I talking to somebody? There is no free thing again in this world. Is that not so? There is no free thing. So inside you, we are just here more than a little thing. If you yourself just make it in your mind. No matter how I do, 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 I will make sure I keep a thousand shillings for the house of God. I'm just telling you what God is speaking to me. I will make sure every month I put five thousand for the house of God. All of us here will know how much we pay this place. We know. So when you sit finish, you come and cross your leg, receive the spiritual food and very comfortable and fine and deliverance. 
What are you thinking in your head? Say, this place is charity organization. <laughs> this is what God is speaking to us. So what are you seeking? Hallelujah. Ask somebody, what are you seeking? What are you seeking? Number three. Do you look to Jesus as a teacher or as a healer or as a deliverer or as your boss or as your NG, uh, CEO or as the Lord of your life? You know, so many ways you can There are ways you look Jesus. And the way you see Jesus is the way he works for you. Is that not so? The way you see Jesus is the way he will, he will work for you. If you see Jesus as your boss, we call it like that in Nigeria. That is how we work for you as a God. There's some of us we see Jesus as a teacher. The same way that we see Jesus as a teacher. They see Jesus as a prophet. That's why they were picking their mind. They say, they say you are a prophet. They say you are this, you are this. So some people today they are with sickness because they have not seen Jesus as a healer. Remember, he paid all the price. By his tribe, we are healed. So the way you know him, when you, the way you know him and the way you see him is the way he works for you. Hallelujah. The way you know him and the way you see him is the way he works for you. So Paul knew Jesus in the letter. When he come to a point, Paul says, I want to know him. I want to know his power of his resurrection. I, want to, I, I don't just want to end. I want to know his power. To kill witches and wizards. To set my family free. Hallelujah. Amen. Number four. Do you spend time with him? Remember, when they went with Jesus, what did they do? They abound with him. Do you spend time with Jesus? Because a man you don't spend time with, you cannot know him. One of the greatest things have came to understand in life. Even mother or fathers cannot know their children. But their spouse know them more than anybody. Their spouse can tell you the hour they use, they can snore in the night. They can tell you the time that they are happy. They can tell you every, they can tell you praise the Lord. Am I talking to somebody? But even your own mother sometimes, your own mother cannot know you because it just has a part to play in your life just from, from certain age. Why we spouse know a man like this? Why we spouse know one another? Because they are living together. They are spending time together. So how many times or how much time are you spending with Jesus? Stay with him. So this is the thing you must ask yourself this year. All your times, your times table you have put. Have you put the time that you spend with Jesus? You must spend time with Jesus just for five minutes. Yes, Jesus, yes, you know, you know, I asked you this thing yesterday, and you have been taking so long. But I just I know you will do it. I just give you some few days. Then add this one, add this one on top, add this other thing on top. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Guide me. I'm going to walk. I should not get accident. Blind the eyes of my enemy. So you have gone. Is that not so? You are talking to him as if he said somebody want to buy ATM at the roadside. So how do we spend time? Hallelujah. The last thing we have to ask ourselves is this one. Who am I talk, telling about Jesus? After you spend time with him, who am I looking to tell about Jesus? This is the five lessons we have to learn in this year. Come and see. Who am I looking to tell about Jesus? He left the place. He was running to his daughter. My family shall will not perish. I've seen the solution. My friend will not die. I've seen the solution. My generation will not perish. 
I have seen the generation.
Bible says when, when, when Nathaniel was coming, Jesus says, a man in Nazareth in tents. People in the world don't take nonsense anymore. They want to see evidence. In Nazareth in tents. But there is one prophecy I have for you this morning. Hear me clearly. Why Nathaniel says, can anything good come from Nazareth? Is because there was a great hero that God called in the tribe of Nazareth who was called Samson to deliver the children of Israel and this man died in the lap of a woman. I don't know that hero that was in your family that brought shame to your entire family. I don't know that person who was supposed to be a voice in your family that brought shame in your family. But this morning God, say I should announce to you. If people can say nothing good can happen to your family, the good thing is about to begin from you. Amen. The good thing is about to begin from you. Amen. As people say, can any man in this family build a house? You are starting to build that house. Amen. Your family has not gotten any name. Your family has been the least when they look at the poor people, they see you as the poorest. Hear me today. After this service, God is about to give name to your family. God is about to give name to your family. That people will come and see. They say this family, nobody get married. You are be the one to break that record. You will get married. They say this family, no man stand and get a good job. You will be the one to get that big job. They say in this family, no man has ever made a name. You are the one to make a name in that family. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, Natalia was speaking fact. He was not a lie. That's why Jesus says, in Nazareth, in the, in, he's a man who knows the history of Nazareth. He knows the history that this family, a great prophet, become a foolish man. There are some things that can happen to your life of your father that they use it today as a mockery to you people. Am I talking to somebody? There are things that can happen to the life of your mother. They will use it today as a mockery to you people. But hear me, there is a thing, God is a God of a new beginning. It's about to change and start a new beginning in your family, in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who used to look down on you before, after today, they will look up on you. 